What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, oh, we've got ourselves a lovely new Digimon car that we need to have a little bit of a chat about. It's another one of those Digimon that... Well, I didn't really know it existed, but to be honest with you, I didn't really know many of them existed, so I think we're going to be all right. What we've got here is Black Megalo Graumon, and the translation comes from the lovely folks over at Ensan Gaming. And this is another one of those Digimon that I, I keep trying to say are rare, but they, they appear to be becoming more and more common, that has both an inheritable skill and a non-inheritable skill. So, we're starting off as a level 5 here. we got an 8 cost to play normally, which... Yeah. I mean, it's on the higher end for level 5s, but that's fine. It's a 3 cost to Digivolve, which is what we see from the vast majority of level 5s, generally speaking. So, that's fine. And we got 7,000 power, which, which is honestly about standard for a level 5. Like, your average level 5 is going to have about 7,000 power. So, like I've said in a bunch of videos, it means if you're blindly attacking the stack, you should be taken out by level 5, 6s, and 7s. So, it's on the higher end cost-wise, and it's not particularly powerful. We better have some skills that we can get a little bit excited about. And the good news is, yeah, we totally do. Also, we've already seen Black Ground, and we'll take a look at that one later. So, what we've got here is a skill with Digiburst 3 that allows you to play one level 3 Digimon from the trash without paying its cost. And then the usual thing that you do not activate any play effects. But given how few level 3 purple Digimon actually have play effects, there's one and it's not great. So, yeah, we'll be fine, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be fine. Now, Digiburst 3 basically means you've got to go all in here. It means you've got to have a level 2, level 3, level 4. You must have gone all the way up from a Digi-Egg. You then Digiburst all three of those evolution sources away, and then you're good to go. That's how you get the skill working. And you get to play a level 3 purple Digimon from the trash without paying the cost. And let's not pretend that is the first time we have ever seen a Digimon that can play a level 3 purple Digimon from the trash without paying its cost we see it over and over and over again it's a pretty it's a pretty regular thing honestly in the context of purple i should say outside of purple it is very much not such a regular thing but we've seen things like metal gururumon when you attack you can play a level 3 purple digimon from your trash without paying the cost we've seen piedmon when you play it you can play two level four or lower digimon cards from your trash without paying the cost we see these over and over again this is a, a pretty standard purple thing to do but this is good because it means if you're going up through these evolution lines you know i just gave you a couple of level six examples of digimon that are going to want to play level threes without paying well, here's something you can evolve from. Although, obviously, you're not going to be evolving Piedmon. It's a play skill. But certainly something like Metal Garurumon. Use Digiverse to play a level 3. Then Digivolve up into a Metal Garurumon. Then attack. And then play a level 3. And keep going. And the fact of the matter is that this is purple all over. I mean, we've got level 3s with really good deletion skills. Like Impmon that trashes the top 3 cards of your deck. Like Tapermon that lets you draw a card so we're going to want these level threes coming back we've got loads of ways to do this already this is just another way but i'm heading over to digimoncard.dev i'm having a little bit of a search for all of these ways and actually generally speaking we're talking level sixes and item cards there are a couple of level fives but they're super specific so we're not going to get into them today so actually you know what yeah, I do want a level 5 that can play level 3s from the trash without paying the cost. While we're here and while we're talking level 6s, we have got to have a little bit of a chat here about Anubismon. Anubismon is flat out awesome. Anubismon, when you Digivolve, you can play a level 3 from your trash without paying its cost. So again here, you Digiburst to play a level 3, then Digivolve into Anubismon to play another one. But on your turn, when your Digimon are played from the trash... 
they gain haste or rush. That is to say, they can attack the turn they're played. Now, obviously, if you did your burst and then evolve that into Anubis Mon, you're playing the level 3 before Anubis Mon is on the field, unless you have another Anubis Mon somewhere on the field. But the fact of the matter is, right, Purple is built to play cards from the trash. It does it all the time. You've got Anubis Mon here, etc. This is another way of doing it, but it's on a level 5, which we're not used to seeing. And there's even more, because there's an inheritable skill as well. On your turn, when you attack, limited to once during your turn, of course, you may destroy a Digimon you control to activate this Digimon. Which is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen absolutely ridiculous you just get another attack from deleting one of your digimon we'll get there in a minute there are two things well there's a few things that purple do one of them is play from the trash another one is delete their own digimon they are fine with it so yes you've got to delete one of your digimon when you attack don't worry a pretty little head about it you'll be fine and then you're just activating your Digimon. You're unsuspending your Digimon. That is absolutely wonderful. Now, in terms of deleting your own Digimon, I've already shown you Impmon and Tapermon that have those really nice inheritable skills that we are absolutely going to be wanting to take advantage of. I could show you Garurumon here, which lets you, well, gives you an extra memory when one of your other Digimon is deleted on your turn. So when you use this skill and there's something that's Digivolved from a Garurumon, on, you're getting an extra memory now to be fair we have seen this skill before we've seen it on where and i loved the skill on where and i love the skill here but the fact of the matter is we are talking about level five purple digimon with an inheritable skill that lets you delete one of your other digimon to want to spend this one it's exactly the same no, it's not exactly the same. We'll get there in a moment. But my point is, Wegarurumon is a good card that's seen a bunch of play. I've already told you the combos, and I've not told you all of them. There are others. Purple have loads of deletion skills. It's kind of their thing. They have cards that take advantage of the fact that they are deleted. And this is just something that can do all of that and take advantage of it. And I love it. I said I'd mention the Black Growlmon from this set. This seems like as good a time as any to mention it. Black Growlmon's got an inheritable skill whereby on your turn, once during your turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you gain security attack plus one. So if we put all that together, you go Black Growlmon into Black Megalo Growlmon into a level six, then when you attack, you delete one of your Digimon, and that is going to make you active. You're going to activate it. But as soon as you delete it, then it's your turn and one of your other Digimon is deleted. So you gain security attack plus one. So now, not only are you getting two attacks, but you're getting two attacks with security attack plus one. You've got to play these together, right? It's too good a combo not to play together. Now, annoyingly, that does mean you're not playing Garurumon, but it doesn't actually mean you're not playing Garurumon. It just means that you've got to digivolve that into something else. I think your Black Megalo Growlmon here has got to digivolve from your Black Growlmon. Because, like I say, you attack, you delete one of your Digimon, you activate Security Attack plus one, and then you're going to reactivate yourself so you get two attacks with Security Attack plus one, which is the equivalent of having Security Attack plus three. Tell me that's not good. It's blatantly good. Honestly, about the only thing I don't like about this is the fact that I'm never playing that Wegarurumon from BT2 again. Like, ever. If we put them side by side, they've got identical inheritable skills. So there's no reason to play Wegarurumon. They've got identical power. They've got identical evolution costs. And the Wegarurumon is one cheaper to play normally. But generally speaking, you're not hard casting a level 5, even as a 7 cost, unless something's gone pretty wrong. So if I don't want to hard cast it, and it's got the same power, the same evolution cost the same inheritable skill, and a really nice Digiverse skill that lets me play a level 3 purple Digimon for free. 
Yeah, this is completely outclassing where Garurumon. For the amount of times I'm actually going to want to hard cast it, I am not giving up my Digiburst skill here. It's a really good Digiburst skill. Yes, you've got to go all the way from level 2 up, but I am cool with that. Now, at this stage, some of you might be thinking, well, hang on a second, we'll see how does this work. You've just told me you want to go from Black Graumon into Black Megalo Graumon, so that you've got that awesome skill with extra security attack and making yourself active, etc. Now you're telling me you want to Digiverse to play a level 3 for free, which means you're getting rid of Black Graumon, which means you don't have that inheritable skill when you end up as a level 6. Yes. Because you know what? These are both good skills. In some games, you're going to want to Digiburst to give yourself that extra level 3. In some games, you're going to want to go straight into a level 6 and have the extra attack with security attack. Honestly, most of the time, I think you're going to want to go into level 6 and get the combo rolling. But that doesn't mean I don't also want to have that Digiburst skill that I can use if I don't have a level 6, if I desperately need another rookie, etc. If I'm playing Anubismon, I might be able to play that level 6. It's got haste. I then attack and win the game. I don't need to Digivolve up. But if I'm playing Wergaruramon, I don't have that option. So you know what? Maybe I will use the Blitz rarely, although in an Anubismon deck, I'll use it a fair bit more often. But the fact that it's there and it's an option makes me super happy indeed. I adore this card. I'm giving it between four and five Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. It is a better version of a card we've already had and already know is good with a really nice skill as well. I think this is one we should probably get a little bit excited about. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. Wassy plays.